Today we're tying a simple redfish fly on the Allen SW004 hook. We'll also be using some of our brass barbell eyes. While there's been many iterations of this style of fly, it's functionally a variation of a woolly bugger. It's got the marabou tail, so you get lots of that implied motion without really moving the fly much, as well as a brush for the body. This gives you great profile and pushes water, which is crucial for redfish, without a lot of bulk. Start your thread right above the hook barb. The real key to this fly is to make sure to pick the right kind of marabou to use. While it's easy to simply reach into your bag, grab a plume of marabou, and get to tying, what you'll find if you take a little bit of time to look through the bag is that certain plumes of marabou are going to be better for certain types of fly. For this style of fly, I'd rather not use a plume like this with its long straight fibers. Instead, I want to use a short webbier plume. Tie it in so it's right about a hook length long, maybe slightly longer. And rather than simply tying it in at one point, I'm going to hold the marabou in place and then wrap most of the way up the stem. This technique just ensures that your marabou won't twist as you're tying the rest of the fly or during the use of the fly. I also want to ensure that I'm going to cover up all that light colored marabou underneath with my orange thread because I'm not going to be using touching wraps with the body so the thread is going to show through a bit when the fly gets wet. Next, I'm going to tie in a set of rubber legs. Tie them in the standard fashion, slightly longer than your marabou tail tying them in first on the back side and then doubling them over to tie on your front. Now, I'm gonna tie in one of my favorite brushes. Then I'll tie in my barbell eyes just behind the eye of the hook. Ideally, I'm gonna end up with this small gap between my eyes and the bulge of the body because that's where I'm gonna finish the wrapping of the brush and tie it down. Now, I'll simply wrap forward my brush and then lock it down. Make sure not to use touching wraps because the body will become too dense and you also won't get the advantage of that little bit of bright orange showing through. For the final step, I'm just gonna add a bit of barring to my marabou. And there, you have a simple backcountry bug that's great for a variety of species.